back. I'm just trying to put beer in your butt. Oh, God. What's up, guys? It's Ryantium here, and welcome back to the center. That's right, you guys. We are back on the center today, and oh, man, is it going to be an awesome freaking day. So, last episode, guys, we built the Great Wall of Arc, and it is awesome. It's just a freaking behemoth gate wall, and it looks so damn good. I love the way it came out, and it's serving its purpose, you know? None of our dinos are going to be able to fall off. Uh, with the exception of maybe a couple walking underneath of these pillars. But hey, we might be able to figure out a way to uh, to block this. Maybe put some spikes up or something. Something along that line. But last night while I was off, guess what grew? The plant species X turrets. Oh yeah, baby. So, I went ahead and I actually made the decision to not put any of these on attacking all targets. And the reason being is because... We're going to need a bunch of fertilizer of fertilizer to um, to even keep those things going. And so if they start taking out things already, they're all going to be run down at different levels and stuff like that. And I don't plan on being raided at any point um, in like the next, I don't even know. But if they were on all targets, they would just be wasting um, fertilizer on spawns inside of the base. And so I think we need dedicated turrets around the base to take out spawns and then we need a majority of them to take out players and tame dinos so i think that's what i think that's one thing that uh, either we'll do in today's episode or i'll need to do off camera but ugh, lag spike oh god but in today's episode guys i have an idea so since the redwood spawns are back and stuff like that that is a very good sign for calicotherium spawns now I got told by my friends that's, that they spawn on South Trop Island, which is Blue Obelisk Island. So, I think we're going to have to take a trip over to Blue Obelisk Island to see if we can find one. Because I want to tame one. You know, I want to tame one. I went ahead and, um, and in one of my Montage Monday builds, I spawned in a, um, a couple of beer barrels for people to use. As well as beer. It's like a community beer place. They can come in, uh, grab some beer, go out and tame and uh, go out and tame Calicotheriums and stuff like that. And um, it's kind of a neat thing. And we're going we're gonna to utilize it too. And so we're going to have to head over to Blue Obelisk. Oh, sweet rain. Thank you. Thank you. I needed water. We're going to head on over to Blue Obelisk Island and uh, see if we can't find any. And I've also been told that they spawn within like the tall monument cliffs and stuff like that. And so if we can't find any on South Drop, we'll find some there. But... Uh, but yeah, I want to find at least one. If we can find two high-level Calicotheriums, that would be cool. However, guys, I think I have bad news. Um, I tried spawning in one of the saddles for the Caprosuchus, and it certainly seems like the code for the saddle itself is broken. And so if it turns out that both saddles are broken, then we can't ride them no matter what. Because if I can't spawn those bad boys in, then something is seriously wrong with the... Uh, with the coding in Primitive Plus or on the center. So I'm not sure what it is, uh, but I'm definitely going to try uh, and get it. But I uh, just want to let you guys know about that. But enough with the talking, enough with the intro and all that stuff. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, I've already got everything in my inventory. I think it's time to go. So I'm going to go ahead and head over towards South Drop Island. And uh, actually, I'm going to head over to the... Uh, the What is it? The Montage Monday build. The... Uh, Beachside Villa build is where I put the uh, beer barrels. And uh, I'm going to grab some beer, guys. I'm not thinking it'll take too, too much. I think I'll grab maybe uh, 50 beer. It shouldn't be too, too much, but I don't know how much these things take. So I will see you guys on Blue Obelisk Island. Alrighty, you guys. So we are out on Blue Obelisk Island. And holy Jesus criminy, whose base is this? What the crap? Oh, okay, I know who that is. Holy Jesus, have some behemoth gates and dino gates. Oh, I like his house design. Oh, I like that a lot. Oh, that's really nice. I like the way he builds. He's got some good structures. All right, so we're over here on uh, Blue Obelisk Island. I'm hoping to find one. Um, hoping to find at least one, I should say. I've been told that they look like horses, 
uh, slash sloths, slash monkeys, slash something. So I don't know exactly what to look for. Oh my god, it's right there. What the shit? It's right there. It's stuck. Hi. Hi, how you doing? This is... Oh Jesus, it's angry. Okay, so apparently they don't like me. Uh, but this is a level 45, okay. Hi, you, how you doing, big guy? Hi, <laughs> look at his stupid face. This thing is literally like a gigantic horse, rhino, monkey thingy. It's weird. Ew, it's weird. I don't know if I like this. Look, ew, look at its hands. Ew, can this thing walk on two feet? That looks like it hurts. He's walking on his knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> this thing looks really cool though. Like look at its design. It looks like a damn zebra. That's so neat. Ew, the way it runs, it's so gross looking. Oh, but guys, we found one. Oh my god, it already got knocked out. Okay. Uh that's a weird new overlay. How do I Oh, don't you tell me this is a passive tame. Don't you tell me that this is a passive tame. Are you telling me that this is a damn passive tame? Oh my god, you guys. Okay, I will be right back. I gotta do some research and find out if I'm an idiot or not. I am an idiot. God dang it, Ryan. You stupid freaking moron. The first one you see, you automatically knock it out. You damn barbarian. You stupid freaking thing. Oh, I'm so sorry, Calicotherium. I didn't know that you were a passive tame. I'm so so- wait, did it? It's unconscious is going- d oh no, that's its health. Whoops. <laughs> I think that's its health. I can't tell. I'm sorry, big girl. I'm sorry. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me! I'm sorry. Poor thing. Okay, we gotta go find another one. Apparently it's a passive tame. Apparently you gotta sneak up behind it and put beer in its butt. Uh, so I'm not really sure. Uh, where another one's going to be. Apparently these things are like super freaking rare. Um, I mean, I'm kind of happy that we just kind of stumbled upon one. I feel really, really bad that I just sunk like 10 drinks into her face and was, oh God, I feel so bad. Oh, you guys. Okay, so it's not looking like there's anything else over here, but we can always check the Monument Island or Monument, uh, the Monument Mountains or whatever you want to call those. I don't know what you want to call those, you know? I call them the Monument Mountains because, I mean, they're massive, you know? They're just tall, just as a monument would be. And it's, I mean, they're, yeah, they're, they're mountains. So, that's what I call them. You don't like it too bad. <laughs> Alright, so, um, I'm certainly not seeing any other, any other horse monkey thingies. Horse monkey rhino poopy thingies. Uh, apparently they throw poop, so they're just like the Mesopithecus. Uh, but apparently they also throw boulders. I could be wrong though. It might just be their poop. I don't know actually. Um, but looks like we're gonna have to do some more looking, guys. Those things blend in. Like that thing was just kind of chilling. It looked like a metal deposit. Maybe if I fly around for a little bit and come back, it'll be um, conscious again, and we can uh, go back and tame it. So I'm gonna fly over to the Monument Mountains and. Uh, See if I can't find one over there, guys. Oh my god, a 150 female Calicotherium. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus, criminy crow. All right, let's put this beer in there. Okay. Okay, no, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. I gotta put this up your butt. I gotta put this beer in your butt. Okay, I'm gonna sneak up behind her. All quiet like. All quiet like. No, don't you see me. Don't you see me. Don't you see me? I love the colors. Look at the colors. Put the beer in her butt. Oh my god, okay. <gasps> We're taming a Calicotherium. Oh my freaking god. Why does it take beer? Why is this an alcoholic dinosaur? I don't understand. I don't freaking understand, Arc Devs. Why did you make a dinosaur that takes beer? Alright, well, this is gonna be a 150, guys. Oh my god, a 150. Holy Jesus, this thing is going to be a monster. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that we can spawn in the saddles for it. Because I really want to ride this thing. This thing looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, there's another one. What level are you? Oh my god, there's a 130. 
Oh my god, there's a 145! Jackpot! <laughs> oh, jackpot, guys. We are gonna get them both. We are getting a 150 female and a 145 male! <laughs> oh man, the Calicotherium hunt was successful. Alright, you want any more beer in your butt? You want any more beer in your butt? Come back. Let me put beer in your butt. Come back! God, they're fast. Wait until it's hungry again. Okay. Alright, well. Let's not count our chickens before they hatch, guys. I'm gonna sit here and tame these guys. And, uh, hope to God that nothing goes wrong. Please, for the love of God, please nothing go wrong. And, uh, hopefully, we get these guys. So, I'll be back. <laughs> oh my God, we got a Calicotherium! Hi! How you doing? Hi! How's your face? Hi! How's your face? Oh my god, where is its stats? 4920 health, 420. Oh my Jesus! 422 melee? Jesus! Oh my god, dude. Dude! Oh my god, do you just eat beer or can you eat meat slash berries? I bet you this is a berry eater. Let me see your mouth. Yeah, you're a berry eater. Uh, okay, we need a we need a bush. Uh, also, I killed a 150 aloe with my pike. Uh, I feel pretty badass, and um, that should be my new middle name. So yeah, uh, <laughs> but uh, can we? I doubt you can pick these things up with an RG. Watch us not be able to pick them up with an RG. Oh my! Wait, <laughs> that was a fail. Can you pick these guys up with an RG or not? No, you cannot pick these guys up with an RG. I think it was kind of like a glitch. Okay. So you cannot pick these guys up with an RG. So I'm going to have to come back with the Quets and load them up on the Quets. Listen here, Dillo. Quit with the attitude, okay? Quit it. Nobody likes you. All right, where did the 145 go? We need to tame that one so that we can make beautiful little Calicotherium babies and have a happy little family and be happy. All right, there it is. That's the 145. And it's the zebra. It's the zebra paint. Come here, boy. Oh, by the way, if you get them pissed at you, they just throw shit at you, and it's disgusting. You get, like, a poopy filter on your screen, and it's disgusting. Alright, no. No, stop trying to turn around. There's nothing behind you. I'm just trying to put beer in your butt. Stop it! Come back! They're just so damn fast. Uh, come back! I'm just trying to put beer in your butt. Oh, God! Oh god, he just threw poop at me. No! No! I don't want to kill the wrong one. I don't want to kill the wrong one. Are you the are you the 130? Oh Jesus, they're both pissed. No 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 Uh-uh. They just threw poop at me. Uh-uh. I don't want to get pooped on. Stop stop chasing me. Oh god! <laughs> Still throwing poop. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're gonna go and kill this 130 just because. I don't need this thing to run at me again. Come here, you stupid thing. Yeah, I hope- No, stop it. No, stop it. Stop it. I don't want to kill the 145. I don't want to kill the 145. Ah, poop. Poop. Die. Oh, God. Scout. Scout. Okay. Okay. Jesus. No, 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 no. Don't you do that. Don't you do that, new Calicotherium. Don't you do that. Okay, guys. I'm gonna try and get this 145. Wish me luck. Oh god, more poop! Nailed it! Alright, you guys. Check it out! Double Calicotherium tame. Look at this, you guys. Now, these guys are monsters. Not even gonna lie. I was looking up some of their special abilities on um, the wiki and stuff like that. And guys, these guys are so crazy cool i so want them to be able to have the saddle spawned in god i want it so much i really hope that it can be uh that it can be spawned in and stuff like that but check these guys stats so the female like we saw has 4920 health and 422 melee but the male has 5040 health and 345 melee so the male has better health less melee the female has better melee, less health. So, we're gonna breed until we get a baby with the better melee and the better health. And we're gonna be breeding super calico babies. And that's going to be insanity. 
And so we just got everybody loaded up on the back. Oh god, I just lost Scout. Just lost Scout. No, Scout. We got everybody loaded up on the back of the art uh, on the back of the Quetzal, and uh, we're all good to go. So I figured we'd uh, we just kind of convoy it back all the way back to the uh, <laughs> back to the base. But that's okay. Oh god, what's going on? All right, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and fly on back to base. But I had an idea. So we have the Diplocolis and stuff like that, but we haven't really used it. And, and so, I kind of want to go out and test it, just for a little bit. Even if we don't do a whole lot with it, I still kind of want to just swim around with it and see what it's like. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to fly back to the base, and we're going to test it out, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. So, I'm going to fly these guys back to base, and then I will meet you guys in the water. Alrighty, you guys. So, we're down here by the other lag spike, the greenhouse. Good God, that freaking frame rate dropped. So, we're down here with this guy. And uh, I went ahead and I grabbed one of the Lazarus Chowders from our smokehouses. So I only brought the necessary materials for defense and food, basically. Uh, so let's go ahead and get down into the water. You ready for your maiden voyage? Let's go down, big guy. All right, so we got some Megalodons down here. So we need to be careful, big guy, all right? We got to be careful. All right, uh, let's go ahead and eat this Lazarus Chowder. Eat the Lazarus Chowder, you idiot. Thank No, okay. I don't know why, I don't know why I didn't eat it, but, okay, let's get on him. We're riding on the Diplo, Wee! <laughs> this guy, oh, big lag spike, oh god, this guy reminds me of the, uh, the Sea Glide from, uh, Subnautica, if you guys have seen my Subnautica series, this guy really reminds me of that, and I love that. I mean, look at this, he's just a living Sea Glide. Or one of those, um, what are they? It's actually like the Sea Glide from Subnautica, but it's like the little underwater engines that you see that you can swim with, like the dolphins and stuff like that at like big resorts and stuff like that. They're, they've got like little rotors in the back of them and you hold on to little grips in the front and it propels you through the water. That's exactly what I feel like with this guy. Man, with a Lazarus Chowder and this guy, you, you, you use nothing. You use no oxygen at all. Look at this! We can go into the trenches. Not that I want to, because there's Mosasaurs down there, and I don't think we could survive a Mosasaur chomp. But look at this, you guys. I feel, I feel like I'm safe. Like, with this guy, not with, like, melee damage or anything like that, but I feel like I'm safe from drowning. I feel like I'm safe from, um, swimming. Like, I can swim way faster than I ever could with this guy. This is so neat. This is really cool. I like I like having this option, you know? This is the prehistoric scuba gear, you know? And I like having this option. Now, you can attack. You can indeed attack with him while you're riding on him. Okay, so Stam's getting a little bit low. We'll need to regen that. Uh, so he is fairly slow whenever he is uh, regening Stam. But that's to say with pretty much any underwater creature... Um, Megalodons are the same way, Plesiosaurs, Mosasaurs, they're all basically the same way. And so, um, that's, that's to be expected. But he regens stamps super fast. That's really, that's actually really impressive. And I imagine if you breach, he'll probably regen all of his oxygen. Yep, look at that. So if you're just out swimming, and you regen all your oxygen, so you have unlimited oxygen with this guy. And that is very impressive to me. That is very impressive, and I find that very cool. So... I'm really glad that we uh, were able to do this and tame one of these guys, and I'm glad this dinosaur exists, but I think I'm actually going to go ahead and end off today's episode there, guys, because we got a lot done today, guys. We got a double high-level Calicotherium tame, and we got to do, we got to test out the Diplocolis. So, with that being said, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more daily videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.